Hello Libra, this is Kathy from Divine Debut. Welcome to my channel. How is everyone? I hope you're all well. Dear Libra, I'm going to put up a video um, in relation to why the September videos were not up. Four of Pentacles for September and October. This is your love reading 2017. Now, why September and October were not up? You will find out through the video. For those of you that are interested, you can watch that. Um, so that's why I'm doing September and October. See how the energies resonate for you. Today's actually the 7th of October. Now in three days, Jupiter is moving into Scorpio. Good luck to Scorpio people, Scorpio people. And everyone's got Scorpio somewhere in their um, Scorpio. <laughs> ah, Ten of Swords, Libra. So there are some of you that have been dealing with a Scorpio and have been deceived, yeah? Whatever the case, that's the end of that cycle. Um, yes, so Jupiter is leaving your sign. It's actually at 29 degrees right now. So Libra, let's see what we have for you. Now I'm doing the air signs first because I did not get to finish the videos for you, the Terrascopes for August Eclipse Energies. Okay, dear universe, Libra, for September and October, show me in relation to their love life, what has happened and what is happening and what is going to happen. Two of Swords, decision-making time, right? But look, she doesn't have a blindfold, so you're obviously finding out information which is going to help you with your decision. Judgment, wow. Second chance, second chance. This is Pluto. Your challenge is the Nine of Swords, but you're going to get a second chance. In the distant past, Two of Wands. In the recent past, we've got the Chariot, which is the card of Cancer. Crowning your reading is the Nine of Wands. In the near future, we've got the King of Wands. He just showed up in the um, Gemini reading. In the advice position and how people see you is the Nine of Pentacles. In the environment position, we've got the Seven of Pentacles. Hopes and fears, you've got the devil. This is a fear, obviously. And, ooh, the outcome card is the King of Pentacles. Beautiful. Two clarification cards, we've got the Six of Cups. And we've got the High Priestess. So, dear Libra, are you rolling in the dough with the King of Pentacles? Did Jupiter bring you a lot of blessings, even though Jupiter had very difficult aspects? So, I'm afraid he wasn't as kind as he's going to be for Scorpio. <laughs> That's life. Now, a decision here, Two of Swords. Do I walk away with the Eight of Cups or do I stay? What do I do? Okay, so on or around the eclipse, some of you were ready to walk away. You did find out information which enlightened you. And it looks as though you made your decision. Yeah. And some of you have walked away. Okay, because the judgment card, you have made a judgment. Okay, as I said, this is plutonic energy. This is rising up from your ashes, being reborn. Now, Jupiter in your sign, Libra, could have brought divorce, legal proceedings, 
even though Jupiter is the lucky planet. So whatever was not working in your life has been taken care of from Jupiter and look at it as a blessing. Okay, this is a second chance for you to be happy. Your challenge is to get out of this Nine of Swords. Okay, get out of this worrisome um, energy and look, you've got another Nine crowning your reading. You look like the wild animal in a cage. Okay? Do not stay here. You need to move yourself. Okay, hopefully with the energy of uh, Jupiter in Scorpio, which is going to bring transformation to a lot of people. Okay? Hopefully it's going to help you as well. Now, this is a want card, which says to me, and my eye, my instinct here is telling me that you have been involved with a fire sign. One moment, please. About that interruption, you guys. I was saying that I feel as though you have been involved with a fire sign, uh, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. Um, I feel that that was a difficult energy in your life. It looks as though they're still not out of your life. They're still there. Okay. Um, maybe you're just finishing up. You've got nine here. You've got another nine here. Okay. You have in the distant past, you have the two of wands. Okay. Many tarot readers say that this is a decision. Okay. You are deciding on a new path or on two different people could be it could be the case for a lot of you for me this is a new path a new doorway opening okay and I believe that some you did come to some sort of decision in the distant past we've got two twos here this is all about relationships yeah two twos and um and the High Priestess here is another two, okay? So there has been a choice that you have been making and you've got a second chance. We've got a two again. And Libra, you, all about, you are all about balance, right? So that is very necessary for you in your life to find the balance. So in the near past, you have the seven, the chariot, and sevens are all about conflictual energy, difficult energy. But if you look at the chariot, it's riding above in the in the ethers, okay, up in heaven. Look at it. It's just such a beautiful energy. It says, this card to me says that you are able to, um, to accomplish your dream, okay. You've got the energy. You've got the will, the skill, and the drive. You've got the force. And you've also got the cosmic help, okay? Because the chariot, as I said, it's up in the stars, okay? So you are overcoming obstacles, but it does take time, okay? It does take time. Things take time. They don't happen from one day to the other. Now, as I said, the king of wands is still in your energy. Now, this is how people see you, and this is the advice that being on your own, being an individual is the right thing for you right now, okay? Do not be upset about it. Look at this woman. It looks as though she's not happy. She's got the material things in her life that she needs. Financially, she's okay, but she's got no one to share it with. She is standing on her own. She's got the strength to do that. In the environment position, we have the seven. Seven of Pentacles. Now we've got a few Pentacle cards here, yeah? And we've also got the King of Pentacles at the end here. Now Sevens, as I said, you are looking at your situation. Sevens are ver a very lucky number, of course, but also it's, it's a very spiritual number. So you are probably at the stage here now where you are or spirit is this woman is watering the plant it is going to grow and she is going to take the fruit from her labor the fruit of her labor what you have 
what you have sown you will you will reap okay so this is the environment position let's see what it's going to show up with a couple more cards now your fear is the devil here being bound being tied up restrictions in your life not being able to get free and move forward okay this is the card of capricorn some of you may have been involved with a capricorn but it could be their moon sign or their rising sign i believe that this is just an energy a very difficult energy that you are fearing that you will not be able to get away from okay um And being here, the actual card that is here, says that there is some sort of stagnation here. There is some sort of a blockage, okay? And I think it's going to be taken care of with the changing of the guards, if I can call it like that, metaphorically, okay? Jupiter, as I said, going into Scorpio is going to you know, stir the soil. It's going to plow through the soil and bring up all those dead roots, okay? And there will be new growth in your life. So do not let fear overwhelm you. You've got the nine of swords here, nines, two nines here, another nine here. You're practically there, okay? Because your outcome card is stability, king of pentacles one of the nicest outcome cards to get okay this is financial prosperity this is someone who is steady this is someone who will be there for you for the long haul okay this is someone that you can depend on now for some of you this is someone who is an entrepreneur they've got their own business but they are able to um, take care of everyone in their life okay they are someone that you will value, they will value you, and that is very important. Now, for some of you, with the Six of Cups, it could be someone from the past, but if not, this is a feeling of being equal. This is an equal partnership. This is a very balanced relationship, which is going to happen for you. The High Priestess here, as I said, it's a number two. Now, the high priestess is all about secrets. She has the knowing, okay? Maybe you are not meant to know some things at the moment. But if you look here, there is a child. This is something new. You are going to learn about something that is being born. Something new is coming to life, okay? And it could be your life is being reborn with this earth sign Taurus Virgo or Capricorn Taurus is more prominent for me and regeneration second chance so maybe some of you have been involved with this person in the past and maybe it's just the right time now let me um, take a couple of cards. As I said, with the eclipse, I do believe that there was a major decision with the energies of the eclipse. You were in two minds. Let me look at, uh, as I said, the environment position. First of all, I'd like to look at and see where, where you are heading Okay, we've got the Justice card, beautiful. Libra, there's your card, okay? It looks as though Jupiter, whilst leaving your sign, will bring in balance for you. Beautiful, beautiful. Another card, Ace of Pentacles. King of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. Need I say more? Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to take a card on the King of Wands. Uh, lovers, the lovers, which could is the card of Gemini, but this could be a head over heart decision. 
okay and maybe you were soulmates maybe that is a previous soulmate okay the lessons have been learned it's time time to move away let me take one more card okay page of uh, swords the truth has come out okay the truth has come to your knowledge okay something has come up and you are cutting through cutting through dear Libra uh, I'm going to take one card for the uh, judgment and then I'll take a couple of Sibylas and finish up with your reading oops okay we've got the magician okay the magician says that he has all the tools to make magic okay he can move forward he has everything he needs okay now sometimes I look at this as the energy of Uranus okay bringing in something sudden for you something something sudden that is going to happen which you will be able to make magic out of also on the downside the magician is someone who is a conman okay so maybe you were dealing with someone who had those qualities okay let me take a couple of Sabilas dear dear Libra I'm going to look at the king of Pentacles what's this king of Pentacles please and the high priestess La reunion well that seems to be a theme you are the third sign all the three three of you three air signs got La reunion so and with a six of cups is that freaky or what for Delta loyalty companionship partnership and Fortuna well Jupiter what can I say what can I say the gifts are coming in for you I would like to look at uh, we had a card that just flipped over I was going to say the fire sign here Leo Sagittarius or Aries melancholia melancholy melancholy messaggero message from afar and prigione looks like someone this is the capricorn energy the devil energy looks like someone's going to be stuck in the past looks like this um this fire sign is going to um take his narcissistic uh, attitude and go elsewhere okay give someone else a hard time okay libra you are finding your balance you are breaking free from this situation here you are cutting it out good for you okay um, I think I'm going to leave it there it's too good I don't want to add anything else I'm very happy with your reading um, Libra my blessings to all of you and uh, I do apologize for not being able to get the um, the August Eclipse energy taroscopes out for you but life is greater than us so sometimes we've got to go with what life says okay keep well thank you very much my blessings to all of you bye for now bye bye